Hello and welcome to Open Access Wikipedia Challenge, final part. Okay, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be embedding media, open access media, into Wikipedia. So, this is going to be the most meaty, substantial part of what we're going to be doing, as I've mentioned. Um, so, what I should mention before we even go, before we even do anything, or type anything in the address bar, is that um, basically there are some Automatic, so there was some manual and now further, now increasingly automatic attempts to start scraping free as in speech media and some also free as in beer media um, into Wikimedia Commons. Uh, and once they're on Commons, they can go into all the different uh, Wikimedia projects as I've restated in the um, Commons section of, of the challenge. So, but some, so these are open access images, um, and this open access week, uh, there's going to be a bot release um, that's going to start doing this in a larger and more uh, automated fashion. But it's still up to us um, or some other human uh, to enter these uh, media files into the actual Wikipedia. And this is how you're going to do it. Okay, so this is your challenge. What we're going to do uh, is we're going to go to uh, commons.wikimedia.org. Um, and the main uh, link, which I'll also link to in the PTPU discussion uh, section, um, is, going, is has a shortcut on commons, and it's commons OAFD, open access file of the day, slash n for nominations. So these are articles that have been curated um, specifically for the... Um, for for someone to look through, uh, they've really been selected as very good open access files. So all of these came from open access journals. Um, so your task is going to be to select one of them. Uh, you know, there's a lot of biology related ones here because uh, there's a lot of biology open access journals. But select any one you're interested in, and then integrate it. Uh, find out where it's being used, and then integrate into a. Wikipedia. Uh, English is what I'm going to show you on how to, is the example I'm going to use on how to show it. So let's just take this image, um, first one. File, it's uh, a bumblebee, um, Bombus terrestris, uh, and it's a work of the transponder attached to its back, visiting an oil seed rape flower. Um, so this is the picture, right? Uh, and then uh, there's also a summary here in English, um, which is the summary we read earlier. Uh, and let's see, it's also from PLOS Biology, um, and there's a nice link there to the open access repository in which it's in. Uh, so if you keep on going down the page, you'll see the file history, um, the usage on commons, and of course it's in two, uh, two places. Yep. Um, then you also see its usage on other wikis. So uh, if you see, you can see here that Deutsche Wikipedia, the German Wikipedia, uses it on the page called Harmonisches Radar. Uh, and on the English Wikipedia, okay, so let's look at the German one. So this picture is here on Wikipedia now, in the German Wikipedia. Um, and it's an Einhammer mit transponder for harmonicious radar. Um, Intr curious. And then it's also on the English Wikipedia for the article called Nonlinear Junction Detector. Uh, so you can see the way the file's used. So um, even though it's, this is already used on English Wikipedia, I think that this might be um, appropriate to have, of a picture to have on the page for Bumblebee, or possibly even the page for Transponder. So um, let's go ahead and link that in um, to Wikipedia. So first, first element: look at all the, its usage on wikis, and think and think, ask yourself if it could be used in another place in the wikis. So let's see. Let's look at the page for Transponder on English Wikipedia. Um, so this is an article about the bat, the article about transponder. There's one image in the top right hand corner, and not much else it seems. So I'm going to put this image on the in this page for transponder uh, because this is about be using a transponder. Uh, and this article I think has got far too few uh, images for how large it is, uh, or how much of an important article it is. Okay, so how do you put it on? Uh, how do you put? Uh, how would you embed this? Well, you're going to copy a code snippet is the answer to that. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, there's going to be on the right-hand side here uh, a couple of links. One is to download the picture. One is to use the file on the web, which gives you a link to use on the web. The other one is use this file on a wiki. Um, and then it gives you two options to, to copy it. Uh, do you want the full large uh, file or do you want a thumbnail of it? And I'm going to select the thumbnail. So you place your cursor in here, double-click to select all of it. Then you can uh, Control C, or what I'll just do this here is, um, oops, I will copy this um, this text, 
And so keep that in your clipboard, and you can close this. Go to the article you want to use. Um, select edit on the article in the top right corner. Oh, I should log in. It's important that you log in not only just for your own purposes to, to store your contribution history, um, but also because you're going to get a barn star, a special edition barn star for doing this. And so the way that I'm going to be tracking you is by um, you posting your username, um, and then I can look through your contribution history. And if, you, if I find the uh, OA, something from OA, then um, an OA FD, an open access file of the day nomination image linked here, then I can give you that, um, that barn star. So the question would be where to place the picture. Um, you can see that the first image is actually the first item on the page, but it renders to the right. So remember, this isn't a what you see is what you get editor. So it's going to, um, you're going to ha might have to experiment a little bit um, with the way that you're, with you, um, where you place it. So I don't think it belongs in the section of satellite or broadcast communications, it's optical communications. Uh, I think, you know what, this actually belongs in aviation. So I'm going to put the, um, the code snippet here, and I just press Control V uh, to paste the, the snippet. And so you see here it says to include a file, the Bumblebee, uh, and it's given us the default um, description here. So uh, I'm, what am I, I'm going to edit this a bit. I'm going to take out the Latin name because it's not really important here because it's about more the transponder. Um, so I'm going to just keep this here with the transponder attached to its back. Um, and it's not really important, it's visiting a rape sleeve, uh, a rapes, or seed rape flower. Um, whoops. I'm really sorry for say, for deleting this. This is actually the file name. So this part where it says file uh, colon dot png cannot be altered. This is uh, this this text is going is the text in which um, you must keep in place for in order for Wikipedia to know um, where where to locate the file. But it's actually after this pipe, so it's the last bit that's that's included here that uh, is the is the text label. Um, so uh, in this case, you can actually delete the, the text from here. So it's important to know that um, you first get the, the file name, which can't be deleted. Then you get the um, thumb, which is the indication to use put a thumbnail rather than the full size image. Um, and then you get the bumblebee worker trend. Uh, then you get the, 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 ta the label. Um, so I'm going to delete these other things because I don't think that they're important. Um, put a full stop here. Okay, so I'm going to now go leave my edit summary, like added uh, image of uh, B with a transponder in aviation. And um, I'm going to click save page now. And lo and behold, we have this image here. So you, as again, you can play with where you place the text, uh, where you place the snippet to get the exact placement. Um, but that's how we've stored it in now. Um, and if we go back to Commons and we reload the page, um, we can see that this file is being used on English Wikipedia, not, not only just in the nonlinear junction detector section, but also in the transponder section. So that's how you embed media uh, and continue. And so that's your challenge, is to uh, do uh, at least one of the embeddings um, for one of these pieces so for one of these files.